Welcome back to Perry Unlikely, and it has been a while. So I've been working on my real estate business. A lot has been going on there, been traveling. Matter of fact, just got back from Vienna and Paris, so I'm back in the United States. Hope you're doing well. I do want to point out a couple things about the market. If you are a technical trader and you know what you're doing, carry on as you are. But if you're not, what I don't want you to do is Obviously, this market has come a long way since earlier this year, right? A lot of ups and downs. What I don't want you to do is miss out on what could possibly come based on emotion. So the reason I said, hey, if you're into technical analysis and you understand it, let's face it. We're not talking about day trading necessarily. Some people do that and there are a select few who are very good at it. But... It's human behavior. And even when it comes to swing trades, you know, medium time frame trades, or even longer term tra trades, that people are able to take that human behavior and make good moves off of it. But if that's not you, it's important to realize, not even just in crypto, other markets, the biggest moves in the history of these financial markets have come from really in the grand scheme of things, just a few days. So if you have decided you're not gonna be in the market anymore and you're gonna try to time it, you may get left behind. Now that's not to say you can't hop in later or whatever, but just remember, only a few days have really accounted for the biggest moves and upside. Don't try to time the market. Give yourself a time frame. Do you trust crypto is gonna be better than it is right now two to three years from now, or even a month from now. If that's the case, and obviously this isn't financial advice, I would suggest go ahead, DCAN, do what's best for you, but just don't try and time the market. The merge, well, we know what's going on with that, right? And as I suspected, of course, Ethereum went up, there was some build up, and now it is down. I personally believe it's a great time to buy Ethereum and it really could drop down. It could get down to around a thousand. Doesn't matter. What I'm looking at right now, Ethereum is a good price where it's at. A lot of days ahead of it. So I think it's a good buy. But also what's important to remember is go back. If you know nothing about crypto, go back, look at the previous cycles. Look at the price action, how it's went up, how it's come back down, and ask yourself this question. Are these teams still working on these cryptocurrencies? Are they going to continue to get better? Is the use case going to improve? And is the use of cryptocurrency in general going to continue to go up? Is it going to stagnate or is it going to go down? I think most of you all would say, especially if, it, if you talk about Bitcoin, we see what's happening with countries using it more and more. Ethereum, obviously moving from proof of work to proof of stake. It's only going to get better and more people are going to adopt the use of crypto. That being the case, well, we should be able to reasonably expect some upside to come from that. But it does help when you look back at the old charts and you can see how much it's grown in the past, right? And does it mean it will repeat in the same fashion? No, but it should be harder to convince yourself that it's not going to move up at some point than convince yourself that it is. So just keep that in mind. I'm back at it. It has been a while. I'm still loving it. Crypto is a great way to change your life. Also, what I'm going to do I really make money a bunch of different ways. So it's not just about crypto. So I've really been going back and forth. Should I just talk about crypto? And I'm not going to do that anymore because it's simply not the only way I make money. And it was the other methods of investing that gave me the money to then get into crypto to then make a lot of money. So I'm going to talk about other stuff. Hopefully you like that. Let me know. But I just want to check in. It's been a minute. You're going to start getting content from me on the regular. I have not went anywhere. Just been trying to pick up some other pieces of my business and get it moving forward. So thank you. 
and check me out later. Take care.